Hey everyone, History Uncovered here, and today we're going to be doing a penny hunt and a nickel hunt. It's just a few nickel rolls. Uh, we have some circulated and some uncirculated pennies. So, uh, let's go ahead and get cracked in. Well, that's a bad roll, so not the first roll. This first roll. Let's see what's in it. Well, guys, the only reason why I'm filming this is because this might be the only find of the day, because Logan hunted through about the same amount of rolls today and didn't get anything. Uh, it's a 2009. In case you can't tell, that is indeed a 2009. Man, the lighting in this room actually sucks. Yep, 2009 Denver. So we'll put that here. And yeah, we'll keep on going. So guys, I'm uh, looking down the roll on the back and I see one cent looking up at me and no, it is not a wheat. <sighs> the 2009. Woohoo! And it's pretty nice toned and 2009 out of Philadelphia. And as you can see, there's a lot of coppers in these rolls. But you know what there's not a lot of? There's not a lot of wheats. So yeah, we'll keep going. Hopefully we get a wheat. Well, just pulled out a second 2009 out of that roll. So anyway, we'll just keep going. I just figured I'd show you guys that. Alright guys, um, I'm just going to put this back the way I found it. But there is a wheat in there and... 1925 out of Philly. See, I told yes, you you Yes, sir. Lucky. You're always lucky. Um, that's pretty cool. No. I'll take that. Yeah, it's it's uh pretty cool. I'll take it. Oh, uh, considering that's the only wheat in these rolls, probably it's pretty cool. So we'll um put that fifties, forties, thirties, twenties, twenties. There we go. All right. Well, this is the same roll of those two two thousand nines, by the way. So yeah, we'll uh keep going. Well, guys, I just realized that is the oldest wheat penny I found uh, coin roll hunting and I've only been coin roll hunting for like six months and I've really only did like five coin roll hunts in those six months so that's pretty good I have a 19 uh, 1925 1926 and 1929 those are my only well, few 30s but uh, of course I have the 1924 mercury dime that I found metal detecting but anyway, yeah, I just figured I'd say that because that's pretty cool. The uh, oldest wheat penny. All right. Well, we'll keep going. All right. Um, next roll, and I've got to find it again. Where is it? There it is, right there. Where is it? Come on, there it is. 1944 out of Denver. Boo, yeah. All right, that's uh pretty good. Two Wheaties out of uh, I mean, look at all these uncirculated rolls I've thrown out of here. That's a lot. So, like I said, that's pretty good. So we'll keep going and see if we can get anything else. Well, it's about time to do the wrap up for this penny hunt because that's it. That's like a ton. I had more uncirculated rolls and I had circulated rolls, but it did not come without fines. So, um, we'll start with the 2009s. I got three 2009s. That one, I'm not, I think, I don't know, something. And then these are the formative years. Uh, this one's either the presidency or formal years. And then this one has, is like an oil-toned one. It looks better off the camera. Ooh, that looks good right there. And then I got my 1925 out of Philly. 1925 out of Philly. Let's get a close up on it. Come on. There we go. Yep, 1925. We'll flip it. Uh, and I did also get the 1944, which is only one of the most common coins wheat pennies to find. So, yeah. And a ton of copper for just five rolls. That's pretty good. So yeah, uh, now let's move on to the nickels. Well, guys, uh, I found three of these. Hold on. Uh, I just found a buffalo. 
Okay, this is just one of these. Now I figured I'd go ahead and make a joke about that, considering I just wanted to show these to you because it's my last roll, and um, probably how to. Oh, you know, I'll just finish it live for you since nickels aren't that hard to hunt with one hand. Oh, that could be old. 1960. Yeah. Oh, this one could also be old. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so unlucky. Well, not really. 1939, my second one. It's a Jefferson variety instead of a Buffalo variety. Oh. Oh, man, it's not a Denver either. That would have been a key date if it was a Denver. Or a San Francisco. Holy cow, let's go. I got it live. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dang it, that could have been a Buffalo. Sorry about the noise. My dad's testing out the new speakers in the other room. Speaking of new speakers. The Relic Room's got some new speakers. Oh, man. That's the second one of those I've found that was not a buffalo. Oh, man. Oh, if only that was a buffalo. I'm not complaining, though. That's cool. Uh, well, I guess I may as well do the wrap-up. Let me go ahead and push these off, and I'll get you guys a wrap-up. So, the wrap-up for the nickels. I got this 2005, all these little commemorative ones. And then the 1939, first year, type 2 variety of the 1939. It's the first year of the Jefferson, and it's the type 2 of 39. Uh, if I would have found the earlier version or type 1, it would be a buffalo. I found two. I think these might be the rarer ones to find. I'm not sure. I have to do some research on that. All I know is that if it would have been uh, 39... D or a 39S, it would have been a key date. But both of them were Philadelphia, obviously, because that's just how it works. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this hunt. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And as always, thank you all for watching. Happy hunting. And God bless.